Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about three reasons that resolutions don't work. In my business as a coach, I hear about resolutions that have gone awry all of the time, which is generally why I'm hired. You see, the first is that people set up very grandiose expectations for themselves. So for instance, going cold turkey on anything can be really grandiose, can be too unrealistic. So whether it's quitting smoking, sometimes that's too much of a cold turkey thing for people. Giving up chocolate, um, spending better, uh, you know, they're going to change the way that they eat, they're going to change the way they exercise, they're going to sleep better, they're going to go to bed on time, they're going to get a promotion because they're going to show up to work in a different way, they're going to be a better leader, etc, etc. Now, Everyone has their own version of what's realistic and what is not. So it's not for you to compare to other people. It needs to be realistic for you. So it needs to feel somewhat like when I talked to one of my blog about vision, a little bit scary and equally as attainable. If you already know how to do it, great. I encourage you to get out there and do it. But I hope this one feels a little bit challenging for you. Okay, so you want to be realistic change. And that means realistic over time. For some people, a New Year's resolution of, I'm not going to smoke on January 1st, I mean, that's just not realistic. Maybe they're going to take the entire year to slowly wean themselves off of cigarettes that they've been using for a long time. That is far more realistic. So whatever you set in any resolution, make it realistic. The second is most people make these up in their head because we think it's a great idea or someone else has told us a great idea or maybe even you have friends that are doing the same thing. Great, but I'm going to tell you right now, there is no data that refutes. Real change happens here. Real change happens at an emotional level, not a cerebral level. Lasting change. Willpower lives in the cerebral. Okay, so you can willpower your way to start this thing, but that's probably going to burn out pretty quickly. In fact, usually by January 18th, which is the most stressful day of the year. It's also when all of the credit card bills from Christmas come in phone any crisis line and find out that's their highest call day of the entire year. So real change comes because you have an emotional uh, shift, you have an emotional attachment to the change that you're wanting to move to. It's not just because you think it's good for you or someone else has said it's good for you. It happens at an emotional level and that's the underpinning of true lasting change. Third reason that they don't work is because People do not want to be publicly humiliated, of course, so they're not going to go out and tell people because then they don't have to admit if they failed or if it didn't work. Big problem. There is zero accountability in that methodology. I don't recommend it. You haven't told anybody, so you're not accountable to anyone. I'm not saying that you with you is not good, but you with other people, nine times more powerful. So you need to set up a very strong support network, cheerleading system, people who are going to encourage you and support you on when you feel like you've fallen and you haven't got it right, or in the days when you can't remember why this change was really important. You need to have a great support network and you need to be accountable to them. Set up agreements. Listen, I'm going to check in with you every week, every Wednesday at 9 a.m. and I'm going to tell you how my change process is going. Okay, so you've got to have a support network that not only is about encouragement and support, but it's about accountability. Those are the three reasons why most resolutions don't work. So just a suggestion for you, instead of making a New Year's resolution, how about make this about you, about the rest of your life, and make a new you resolution.